I made this cordage over the course of about an hour or an hour and a half. I'm not quite sure. I was cleaning up the yard at this house that I'm staying at and a plant had these little tendrils, tentacles, tubes. They had these things coming out of it. And I tried to pull them off, but they were really strong. So I was like, oh, you're strong, are you? So I pulled a primitive technology on it, found a piece of rock and like cut through it. Then I used the rock to saw through the, I don't know what they're called, like the vine. Yeah, I think it would be called a vine. I used the rock to saw through the vine and split it down the middle and strip off the skin and then wind it into cordage. So I thought it was just this really chill activity, very zen to just sit there and do that for like straight up like an hour. It was ridiculous. And now I have this, I don't know how long this is. It's like, it's almost my, almost as far as my arm can reach out here to down here. So if I put it by my foot, well, it's about that tall. So it's not, not super long, but it's still really cool. I like it. I, I love the whole, how it looks. Yeah. So, I mean, <laughs> That's all. That's pretty much my day so far. Is just doing this and cleaning up the yard here. Um, yeah, I'm still working on where I'm trying to go, where I'm trying to end up. I think I might just take off and run like a madman up north. Uh, I have no idea. 100% no idea. But that's okay, you know. Life is life is based on doing your best in situations that you don't have control over. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. I like that. So, aside from that, I've drawn a couple pictures recently and I've been working on my story and it's been pretty good and hanging out with these guys is super cool. Oh, I went snorkeling for the first time yesterday. First time in my life. Like, as a kid, you know you'd have those big goggle things that you would go swimming with and then it would come with a little snorkel. I I never really liked the snorkel for some reason, so I never used it, and I ended up just holding my breath whenever I would go underwater, and that worked just fine for me. So I've done that for the past 22 years, and just yesterday did I actually use a snorkel for its intended purpose. And it was really strange, because I would, I put it on, put it on my mouth, and it was just weird, like, I could feel my breath, like, coming out and down, and, uh, and then I just dunked underwater, and I ended up, it was really weird, because I, since I'm so used to holding my breath, I would hold my breath, even though I had a snorkel, and then I'd, like, gasp for air, and then they're just, it was the worst, <laughs> it was so weird, but I'm gonna have to get better at it if I'm gonna see the Great Barrier Reef, so, I'm gonna do that. And so I did that. I hung out at this really cool beach. Um, the 12 year old kid that I'm living with straight up speared a fish, which I think we're gonna eat tonight. Super cool. The fish was like, I don't know, like, like 10 inches long or something. It was crazy. Like he just jumped in the water, dorked around a little bit and came out and his spear just had this flopping fish on it. It was super like, surreal like oh you can do that and there are fish in there wow what do you know ocean so yeah i'm enjoying myself here but i think i'm only going to stay for another week or a couple days until friday or so and then maybe go up to byron bay or something so yeah that's where i'm at also if you wanted to figure out how to learn Ugh. If you wanted to figure out how to make the cordage, it's super cool. I recommend you try it. And when I say I recommend, I mean just go screw around with it. Try it out. It's really fun. Um, just look up tutorials on YouTube. That's what I did. I No, no shame. Uh, so, yeah. 
now, if I get stuck out in the wilderness, I will know how to make rope. Or cordage. Yeah. Anyway, have a wonderful day, guys. Cheers.